Welcome to this video on how to use a slider, and for that matter a scroll bar, in Java. My name's Andy Wicks, but the code for this video was produced by Dr Chris Walshaw, Dr Kate Finney and Dr Don Cowell of the University of Greenwich. This example shows you how to convert from centigrade to Fahrenheit. Let me show you the program running. Here is the program and here's the slider. And as I move the slider, the degrees centigrade alters and so does the degrees Fahrenheit. So if we went to 50 degrees centigrade, that's 122 degrees Fahrenheit. 100 centigrade and that's 212. It's exactly the sort of thing that you'd expect and you can re reset the slider as well. Now this program does a few things a little differently and I need to show you that. Let's start off at the beginning. First of all we need to set up our, our controls. There's a slider, there's a J button and there are two text fields one for the centigrade and one for the Fahrenheit. We now create just two panels and this is where things get a little different. What we're going to do is we're going to add the slider directly to the north panel. We're not going to put it in a panel itself, we're going to put it in that section of the border layout called north. And in that way we can save having to the panel decide how big our slider is going to be. It will be the full width. Now what about that slider? Well I'm going to set major tick spacing. That's the big ticks that you saw. I'm going to set a minor tick spacing. Those are the little ones, the individual bits. I'm going to ensure that the ticks are actually painted on the slider and that the labels, the how bigs, are also painted there. But of course the important one is to add the change listener. Notice it's change listener, not action listener. Because in this case we're looking for a change in how the slider is positioned. And that means that instead of having just action listener, which is there for the button, I've also implemented change listener at the top. And that's going to listen out for whenever the slider is changed. So we've added our slider. Now we can add a label to the mid panel and the text box to the mid panel. We can set the text to zero, so we're starting off with zero degrees. And we can do exactly the same thing for the Fahrenheit section, except that we're going to set to 32. We're going to add the mid section to the center panel, and then we're going to do exactly the same thing for the buttons, except we're putting that in the south. Now the action performed. What we're going to do is we're going to get an event if the user clicks the button. and We want to make sure that it was the button reset that actually did that event. And if it does, it's going to do a piece of code, a method, called reset and we'll come on to that in just a moment. But the one that's of real interest is the state changed. This occurs when the slider has been moved. So if the slider is moved we need to set up a value that says where is the slider at now and we're going to call this centigrade. We're then going to convert the centigrade into Fahrenheit using a bit of ordinary arithmetic. F Fahrenheit is calculated as 32 plus centigrade times 1.8. The F is there to show that it's floating point and the maths round, notice it's math round, the American version, not as we would say in England, maths with an S, 
no s. We're going to take the integer value of what we get when we multiply centigrade by 1.8, add it to 32 and that's going to be our Fahrenheit figure. We can now set the text for the centigrade text box and for the Fahrenheit text box to be the centigrade and Fahrenheit values respectively. You'll remember that the quote plus ensures that this is seen now as text and not as a number. We're putting some blank space in between. This is the bit of code that does all the work but in reality it's really quite simple. Just change centigrade to Fahrenheit. Now what about that reset method? Here what we want to do is we want to set the text in centigrade to zero, the text in Fahrenheit to 32 and we want to ensure that the centigrade slider is set to zero. That's its starting value. Let me show you that. Here's our slider and it starts off at zero. When we move it somewhere the centigrade and Fahrenheit figures change but pressing the reset button sets both the text and the slider to where it would be for zero degrees centigrade. 